Dear student, uh, this is the another loop construct called for loop. So for loop is actually a shorthand for while loop. So what is the meaning of shorthand? Meaning that all things while loop can while loop can do, for loop can also do it. Okay, so let's go. So for for loop, uh, it is very interesting that it has this uh, initialization included in the syntax. So this is a uh, we give a label called number one. So this number one will be executed first, so that you can initial initialize the looping condition or any loop uh, variable could related to the looping condition. So what's next? Next will be immediately executing the condition, and the condition is supposed to be put here. So it will execute the condition, and if the condition is correct, then I will go into the loop, into the loop. So into the loop, this guy, the loop body, will be the third guy to be executed. Okay. Then into the loop, maybe the looping statement can only have one statement only. So then what? Then for while loop, we will go back to the for while loop, we will go back to the condition and check the condition again. But for loop, it's very clever. It knows that it you know you know there is a update statement. It know that you need to update something so that the condition may have a chance to get forced. So after finish the whole looping body, it will execute update. Wow, cool. So this seems to be a very sexy thing to be. So let's write code using for loop. Again, I will repeat one of our example to sum from 0 to 9 inclusively. So how to write a for loop for it? Remember the for loop will compile the initialization, the condition itself, as well as the updates together in one looping syntax. So let's write the for loop first. Okay, so the first guy is the initialization. Then we will have the loop condition so the loop condition, these two together say that I will loop from, oh, I missed one thing. This together means that I will loop from 0 and then loop, 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 loop up to 9. Okay, but of course while I'm looping, I don't, I don't care the body first. While we are looping, okay, we have to add in the chain condition statement. To change the condition, we, if we are using for loop, we usually write this. So what is I++? I++ is a shorthand for I equal to I plus 1. Okay, so we finish most part of the for loop. We have done this. We have done this. Okay, so what's the missing part? The body. So the body, remember, I want to do the summing of uh, integer from 0 to 9 so that's why we need the accumulator so the accumulator please help me to accumulate results okay then what? then finished finish, really finish so let's check remember our previous results is 45. Is it 45? Go. Wrong. Wrong. Why? Can you see the bug? Can you see the bug? No? Okay. The bug is basically again, remember, the initialization is not for I only. We have to initialize accumulator. Well, when you want to initialize two things together. Actually, we can put this statement into the for loop. Wow, it's cool, right? So let's compile and run again. Good, 45. So that's it about for loop. Thank you very much.